Aristas, Krimvasay Azantes, welcome video lovers, welcome to TacNerd 1.0. Fellow adventurers, you have happened upon the TacNerd channel on a day of glorious ideas and thoughts coming to mind. But first, let me preface all of this by saying that in the following video, I will not be giving out any data or suggesting any data for any sort of reloading. This is merely a scientific experiment meant for science. I ask that none of you follow any of the things that I am about to talk about in this video. Do not do what I'm saying. Do not follow what I'm saying. Find your own manuals, your own reloading books, and you do your own thing. Do not do what I am doing. So with that out of the way, I had an interesting idea today. We have all this data. We have all these reloading books. Now this is mine or one of mine. And as you can see, it's fairly old. It's from 2013. Well used. I've had to tape it together a few times, but it's served me very well. And I do get some of my reload data off the internet just by searching for things as you may also if you reload. But I had a thought the other day. What if, because this is 2024, and we are in the age of AI. Is it possible? Could it be possible? Could something like ChatGPT go out there among the internet and find load data, good load data, possible data that could be used? Could we trust it? Now, I know most of you out there are screaming at the screen right now and saying, no, heck no. Of course not. You couldn't trust that. Well, I want to give it a shot. I want to do a little myth busting here. I want to see just how possible this might be. So we're going to go through this book. We're going to find uh, two, three, four loads, see what it says. And then we're going to ask ChatGPT and see what it says and see just how close it gets and what kind of format it presents them in. Now, I know many of you are not going to trust that anyways, and you're going to cry havoc at the mere idea of using ChatGPT for something such as this. But among my many interests, AI is one of them, especially generative AI. I have a deep-seated interest in it. Now, some people have a deep-seated fear in generative AI. I wouldn't say I have that. I have a respect for it. I understand it. And I do use it from time to time. It's a tool like any other. So let's see if this tool could benefit us as well. So first, let's go to a very simple, let's do a few very simple loads and see what it has to say. All right, adventurers, here we are. Let's see. Let's take something fairly obvious. Let's take a 230 grain. Let's take a lead round nose. Something very simple. Let's try tight group. That's a good all around powder. Let's see, it's saying right here to try tight group at four grains and the velocity should be between 751 and 855 at 4.8 grains. So let's see what chat has to say. So we're gonna type in a message. Okay, here we go. And this is the prompt that we're using. Let's see what it has to say. Pretty quick, that's for sure. So it's telling us the starting load data should be four grains of tight group powder with a velocity of approximately 753 feet per second at a pressure of about 12,800 PSI. A max load of 4.8 grains of tight group with a velocity of 855 feet per second with a pressure of around 17,000 PSI. Now, what does it say here? And I think you'll see there it is, tight group, four grains, 751. Now this said 753 at four grains. At 4.8 grains, our guide here is saying 855 at 17,000. And that's exactly what ChatGPT says. So I don't know, folks, pretty close, pretty darn close, almost exact, I would say. So let's try some, folks. Let's try, next, let's try, let's try, let's keep it simple. Let's stay in the realm of simplicity. We're going to try 38 special, a very basic load, something that the average person would learn on. 38 special is generally the, the round that everyone tries first. So, but let's give it a play. 
little bit of a divergence. Let's try Trail Boss. I wouldn't exactly say it's a common powder. It is available, readily available. Many people do use it, but I wouldn't exactly say it's common. So let's see if we can trip it up. So Trail Boss is saying three grains giving 753 feet per second with 11,600 PSI up to 5.3 grains, 952 feet per second at 13,400 PSI. As most people know, Trail Boss does have large ranges like that. Let's see what chat has to say. Okay, folks, here we go. Here's our question. Let's see what it says. Again, pretty quick, giving us the data. And there we go. Starting load, it says here, 3.0 grains of Trail Boss powder. Velocity of approximately 700 feet per second. Now this, our guide here says 753. So that is a bit off. Now the maximum load, chat is saying, 4.2 grains of Trail Boss powder, giving a velocity of approximately 800 feet per second. And now this one goes up to 952 at 13,400 PSI. Now they didn't give the PSI rating here in chat, but it does give the feet per second, which is at 4.2. This one's at 5.3. That's possible. That's very possible. But it seems like chat's being a bit more conservative on its load. Interestingly enough, though, it does say here, Trail Boss is a bulky powder designed for lower velocity cowboy action loads, and it fills the case well, which is useful for consistent performance and safety, which is all quite true. So I would say not exactly as correct to the load data here in our guide, but I would say probably safe considering the load that it gives here is under what our guide says. But again, you all do your own thing. You don't listen to, to myself. All right, so that's a couple easy ones. Let's give it something of a challenge. Let's find a somewhat obscure cartridge and see what it has, folks. I know I said something obscure. I just wanted to try this. Let's try 30 carbine. This is a favorite car cartridge of mine. Favorite rifle of mine is the M1 carbine. Let's try 110 grains of jacketed round nose in 30 carbine and let's tell it little gun or H110. Let's say H110 and see what it has to say. All right, adventurers, here is our prompt. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, so we have H110 in the guide, 14 grains at 2006 feet per second, ending with 15 grains at 2106 and a pressure of 36,500. Now chat says that the starting load should be 13.5. So again, it seems to be a bit more conservative. Velocity of 1850 feet per second. I would say that's probable. Pressure of around 33,000 CUP. That's a little off from what this says. Maximum load of 15 grains, that does coincide with what this says. Velocity of 1990, which is below what our guide says. Pressure of around 40,000 CUP, which is, yeah, above what our guide says. I'd like to say it also says here, H110 is a high energy powder suited for Magnum revolvers, rifle cartridges like 30 carbine. Be cautious with this powder as it performs best at or near maximum loads. It's not recommended to reduce the loads below starting cha charge. So again, not only does it tell us fairly accurate load data, it's also telling us a little something about the powder and giving us a warning. Pretty interesting. I don't know. I At this point, I'm saying this data looks pretty good. Hey, let's try a couple others. and Yeah, let's try something a little more. Folks. Let's try this. Let's try 4440 Winchester. Now, I wouldn't say exactly that this is a, an obscure load, but it, it is kind of obscure at, at this point, at this day and age. There isn't a whole lot of people loading 4440. But let's try and let's give it universal. Let's see what it says for universal. Okay, folks, here is our prompt. Uh, let's see what it has to say. Now, the, now our, our guide here, says starting at 6.6 .6 and ending at 7.3. So let's see. All right, here we go. Here is our results. Starting load, again, chat seems to be a bit more conservative. Starting at six grains of universal powder with a velocity of about 700 feet per second, 
pressure at 10,000 PSI, maximum load of 7.5. Here we have a max load of 7.3. This is a bit above what that is. Velocity of about 950 feet per second and a pressure of about 13,000 PSI. Certainly comparable to the information we have here. And it does say, again, it gives you a little something about the cartridge and the load. 4440 Winchester is commonly loaded to lower pressures, especially for older firearms. So it even tells you, don't trust me, look at your loading manuals. But again, I would say pretty impressive. All right, let's try to find something really, really obscure. And a really obscure venture is we're back. So I have found something that at least I think is fairly obscure. 30 Herit. Now I, I'm sure there's someone out there who's going to reach for the screen as and the keyboard as soon as they can and tell me that they reload 30 Herod every day and they've taken a number of deer with it. But I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. So what should we say? Well, let's take 30 Herod. All right, let's say we're going to use 150 grains of Hornady SPBT and we're going to use H4198 powder. Again, I have never heard of any of these. So maybe you have, you probably have, but let's see if chat knows this. Let's try to trip it up. All right, folks, we are back. Here is our prompt. Let's see what it says. Let's see if we can trip it up finally. All right, it's saying starting data should be 21 grains of H4198 powder, velocity of approximately 1800 feet per second with pressure of 30,000 CUP. Now our manual here just gives us starting and ending loads for 41 for H4198. This is saying 19 to start at with 1623. I would say that's close, comparable, but close. Now this is giving a higher pressure with a slightly lower grain load. The maximum load here is 24 with a velocity of 2050. Here it looks like 22 grains with 1797. So I would say this time the guide is a bit more conservative on its loads than chat is. And it does also say here that it, this is a popular Wildcat cartridge designed for the TC Contender pistols, providing excellent performance in short barreled firearms. Interesting that it tells you a little something about the cartridge as well. So folks, I hope this was all at least slightly entertaining to you. I know it might be somewhat boring to some people, but it was an experiment that I wanted to do. I think this is very interesting. I don't know that I would trust, even with, the, even with what we were given, which was all fairly close and in many times more conservative than the guide, I don't know that I would trust it. I just don't know. So I'm gonna leave it all up to you. I'm gonna leave it up to all of you to see what you think. And you tell me down below, you give me all, all of your thoughts, your angry thoughts, your futuristic thoughts, if you would use AI for load data. I don't know that I would. Maybe I would use it as a guide, but I think I would still want a book. I don't think I would want to go out there not knowing something and just experimenting. Again, this was all for educational purposes. None of this was to provide any actual load data that you should follow. You do all of your own investigation. You do all of your own work. This is for education and myth busting purposes only. Folks, that is about it. That's all I have for you today. If you feel you got something out of this, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, fire off the shot at that bell notification to let us know that you're there and you want to see all of our videos drop bright and early every 9 a.m. Folks, I am Tech Nerd, and I am out of here.